here at Avon. I'm up on top of the roof. This, we got the, the opening here now opened up for our, our sliding glass door we keep talking about. Now we turn around and we look back into the, to the main part of the house here. And you see we've lowered down this, um, the wall here between the kitchen and this room. So now we have an open field between the kitchen and the, uh, the family room area and all the dining room and, and uh, living room, family room, dining, kitchen, the whole area is kind of opened up now. It's one big open space. You guys can look up, you see all the, the trusses are in, all our uh, roof sheeting's in. See, if you look underneath here, you see like a foil looking um, material underneath our roof sheeting. This actually has to do with the radiant sun. This is a part of the insulation value to the house. When we're this far away from the coast, we have to have this foil material here so that way it helps with the sun rays. I mean, this is just really wide and open now, which really gives a good view out there to the west. You look out here, we see how we have our overhang here in this portion here, but we also have this part kind of leaving over. So it's going to make this a nice uh, shaded area right back here also, in addition to uh, just having the, the deck out here out back. It's all going to keep it nice and shady right here too. It's a lot bigger than that. I didn't, I mean, just feel it now too. And this actually feels a lot larger. I mean, look at that whole kitchen. It's, it's, what he's saying is it's an inch and a half wider up here than just down there. So we're doing things just a structure here. Is that this wall is like that. So this area here is your dining slab. Well, kind of yeah. dining. Yeah. And now, I mean, this it was designed to be the dining room, but we can even play with it a little bit more now. I mean, we, we got a lot of space here. This wall ready to go up? Uh, now I'm going to be ready for the... Now we're into the new master bedroom right here, you guys. And so we have that sliding glass door. We go out right onto the deck area out here. So you can get your own private little uh, sitting area out of your master. How wide is this room, Brian? What do you think? About uh, 14 feet here? 14 feet, four inches. Pretty good. Right, so this master bedroom is a little over 14 feet wide. 16. By 17 feet long. Ooh, off by one. That's a good size master bedroom. So we walk into our bathroom right here and we're gonna have the, uh, the toilet right over here in this area. We're gonna have a shower. We have a corner uh, garden tub and then we have a double vanity sink on the back wall here. So we have every element within this uh, bathroom and then our walk-in closet right over here in this area. Really, it's been what, less than a week now, right? Yeah, it's been less, less than a week. I mean, trying to get these trusses up and the roof on. And this, there's a lot of additional things that have to happen with your framing. But right in here, we've got all our blocks that, that are in between all our trusses. You see right here, there's some hardware up here, Jamie. You see that? All these A35s right here, you see them on every single bay all the way along. So it's not a matter of just putting up some trusses and, and some plywood. Now there's some bracing and blocking and hardware and nailing. It looks like a real quick the house goes up with putting up the walls and, and the trusses, but now you got to go through and do all kind of the detail work and get everything shored up and embraced and, and, you know, all all the structural stuff that has to happen too. So, I mean, this only took, to get the roof up, the trusses and the, and the sheeting, it only took probably three days. Now we have all the kind of house laid out structurally and, and wall-wise. Now we're gonna lay it out functionality-wise. So where does the stove go? Where's the refrigerator goes? Where's all the outlets? Where's your TV gonna go on the wall? Things like that. So we're gonna start imagining those things to go in place now. So we're in our bed right here in our master bedroom. You know, we're gonna wire this so we have a plug on each side of the bed for your nightstand and your, and your uh, telephone. We're gonna wire this because we have the walls open for the TV. I mean, everybody has a flat screen TV nowadays, a 50 inch plasma in their bedroom, right? So we're gonna wire that for that feature right there. And then making sure that the homeowner can access all their appliances and, and yep. in the ideal places as well, but not only ideal yeah. places, but We'll give them some options, right? Yeah, especially, I mean, because we, we are building basically a brand new house here and we have everything open, it gives us options too. We're not having to go dig in, you know, into the walls and create a lot of, you know, collateral damage with, with trying to add things that it's just really not feasible. But now that we have it all open and available to do that, it's very easy to do those kind of things. It's very, I mean, cost effective wise, it's, you know, it's very simple. Pretty much, it's a brand new rebuild, right? A brand new house almost, yeah. yeah. It's pretty darn close. Yeah. Considering we can get plans all went yeah. uh, according 
just building it south, how far away do you think six we are? Weeks. Six weeks still? Yeah, we're, we're good six weeks still. I mean, the, big, the biggest challenge right now would, would be to get this thing closed in before we ever see any like, you know, weather or anything like that. That would be our next, you know, big challenge. Um, you know, in San Diego here, obviously we don't see a lot of wet water and, and uh, rain and stuff like that, but, you know, just you know, good, good to get it all closed in. Are you going to float this up to this level? Um, two options at this point. One, either yes, we add another layer of plywood to match this right here, or we actually take the wood floor off. This is your pull-up bar right here, though, Brian. Right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna shave it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> maybe, we'll get, maybe we'll have Jamie do some pull-ups. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Okay. We're cool guys, remember? You said this well, morning. No, we're ordinary. <laughs> ordinary. <laughs> ordinary guys don't wear sunglasses. <laughs> during. Yeah, you ready to find out, see what the life of a real estate investor looks like, Jamie? Yep. And follow us through the life of uh, what we do. Mm -hmm. Brian, you ready? That's what happens around the office around here, guys. Phone number two. All right. You feeling while I'm eating? Yeah.